Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen at New Hope Chiropractic. What's wrong with my shoulder, you may ask, if you have shoulder pain? Well, shoulder pain is a really common problem that can arise from many different causes. There are actually several joints that make up the shoulder, so shoulder injuries can actually be quite complex. Probably the most common source of shoulder pain arises from the muscle tendons and the bursa, which is a fluid-filled sac that lubricates, cushions, and protects the sliding tendons near the attachment to the bone in your shoulder. The rotator cuff is made up from a group of four muscles and their connecting tendons. Typically, when the tendons tear, the bursa swells and impingement occurs. And when this happens, it's very painful to raise the arm up from the side. The term strain applies to injuries of the muscles and tendons and are classified as mild, moderate, or severe. And some refer to this as first, second, or third degree tears, depending on the amount of tissue that's torn. Overextension, overuse, sports injuries, dislocation, fracture, frozen shoulder, joint instability, and also pinched nerves can all give rise to shoulder pain. The diagnosis of what's actually causing a patient's shoulder pain is often determined by the history of how the injury occurred or the mechanism of, of injury, in other words. This is followed up by measuring the range of motion and performing provocative tests, which basically are tests to see which positions bother the, th the shoulder the most. And then a chiropractor can use uh, exams and x-rays sometimes too to assess for fracture or dislocation and an MRI possibly to assess uh, muscle tendon tears for the soft tissue and uh, also checks for labral tears. Those are uh, tears that occur in the rim of cartilage surrounding the glenoid fossa or the cup of the ball and socket joint and other soft tissues. So um, these tests all ascertain the location and the, the type of injury that's that's occurred. People with jobs that require heavy lifting or repetitive pounding, for example, like carp carpenters, jackhammer operators, for example, uh, people who play sports like football or rugby, and also those who smoke, have diabetes, or an overactive thyroid gland, they're all at higher risk of shoulder injury because the shoulder joint is normally not very stable. Many people tear their rotator cuff joints or injure their shoulders during their lifetimes. One study found that 17% of participants in the study had full thickness rotator cuff tears as opposed to partial tears. And the research reported that age was an important determinant uh, as the incidence of tears was only about 6% in those less than 60 years old versus 30% in those over 60. So obviously this is not a problem that's limited just to uh, younger active people or athletes. It's uh, a problem that affects older people too. Outside of a medical emergency, patients should really always try non-surgical treatment options first. Doctors of chiropractic offer the shoulder injury patient a, a great non-surgical option that emphasizes exercise, self-management strategies, and also um, manual adjustment, mobilization, and, and more of the shoulder. So the, mo the most important message here is be patient as these shoulder injuries usually take some time to manage, often up to even a year. So again, October being Spinal Health Month, we're offering complimentary consultations to see if we can help you with chiropractic. And also we have a special for the new patient. It's $87 for uh, a complete exam and also the first treatment, the first adjustment. So check us out at newhopechiropractic.com. And in the meantime, have a healthy day.